and we can start. And here you all are. So if you don't know me, I'm Anushmita, Sucheta, and Lakshmi. So please give a big applause for them. Thank you, thank you so much. This was our dream. This pageant, the girls, the grooming session, dressing up, you all come. These were all there. And today is the day where we could make it. We could make that day happen. Like we could have you all here. We could have all the participants here. And they are so ready to rock the show. So thank you and welcome to Oiti Cho, Mrs. Universe 2020 Georgia. Thank you all so much for with us. It's a millionth show for Anushmita and my first show. So please do hear with us. Thank you so much for being here. I cannot express in words. I feel like a mother hen looking at all these women standing here today to show and take their five minutes on the stage and show them what they are. It's not easy to stand here, ladies, and I know every one of you are aware of that. So I hope you really like this show. And let me introduce our other mother hen. That's how we call her. Good afternoon. I am contestant number one, Shrikala Ulatal from Kerala, India. Kind of person who celebrate my success and learn from my failures. I promise to uphold my dreams and always follow my inner moral compass. When I'm not working as a software engineer, I find my passion, peace, comfort, and adventure by being into outdoors. I will continue to trust in my journey and the divine plan for my life. Keep going forward and always believe that something wonderful is about to happen. Here I am with a dream of living a life where my small actions can make big impacts. From being the friend of outdoors to a painting glam, for this girl, it's do it all. Thank you. Esteemed judges and fellow contestants. Hi, this is Neha Madhuri Kalvakoda. I'm here as a mother and trauma survivor and empowerment, beacon of empowerment. And I'm not just a contestant here, but I'm the voice of mental health and body positivity and self-expression. And I, as a professional, profession, I wore multiple hats from IT to dedicated volunteering and I have a beautiful daughter and she spreads enormous joy in my life and I have a mission to teach her the resilience, the power of the resilience and self-love. So as a trauma survivor, I am a strong and I want to be example to you know represent the self-love and self-esteem for all of the uh, people in the world. And I'm, I want everyone to celebrate my journey today and challenge uh, stereotypes, redefine beauty, and because I believe beauty has no bonds. Thank you all. organic farm to enjoy 
organic vegetables. Despite of so many ups and downs, highs and lows in life, I never look back. Wherever I go, I carry smile and positivity with me. I am a part of Nadi Shakti that advocates human empowerment. Also, I also am a part of uh, Mission Possible, who is raising funds for American Life America, Access Life America. Thank you so much for being here. I strongly believe that each one of us do have certain responsibilities towards society and we should continue to do that. I am a big animal lover and in memories of my two lost dogs, I support animal care in the US as well as in India by providing them monthly food supplies as well as medications for rescue dogs. Thank you so much once again for being here and I and I'm wishing all the waiters to all my beautiful co-participants. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, good afternoon judges. Thank you uh, to all the lovely people here this morning taking time out to come and share for us. This is Veena Rajaju, a mighty professional model, singer and dancer. I'm a mother of two beautiful boys who are my heart and heartbeat and my life and for now and forever, my husband. Uh, my recent glorious moment as a model was I was a part of the Paris Fashion Week and I enjoyed the fantastic experience of representing a designer, a renowned designer, Elena Poledo. And I love dancing and I think it's the most beautiful and magical way I can express myself. I'm a daughter of a music teacher. I think I was born with music as a body part of me and now it's the way of my life. Um, if somebody asks me what true happiness is, I say true happiness is not having everything right in life, but having the attitude to fight with the obstacles and let us make you true winner. And I also believe in giving back to the communities, even with our empty schedule, we need to take our time to give back to the societies. Uh, and I'm a part of Hope and Homes Children, where we raise money towards children where we, their goal is to end orphanages find homes and real homes for them. Um, and that's it. Have, have fun tonight. Have fun to this afternoon. Thank you. Everyone, tonight I'm honored to be here with a strong, dynamic, trailblazer woman who dare to pursue their dream. I am Priya Kumar, contestant number seven. I always had passion for dancing, choreographing stage performances because I love being on stage and the energy from the crowd. Uh, that spot made me fall in love with the fashion world. Fashion allows me to express who I am and who I would like to be. That's a great platform for empowerment and self-care. I also contribute and volunteer to the great causes that benefit communities in need. Currently, I am working with Mission Possible who is very close to my heart and they are raising the money for New Heights Academy. I also want to, through this journey, inspire younger women, teenagers, to enable them to express their identity that's true to themselves. I also want to inspire them to express their uniqueness. I want them to embrace their uniqueness to rise to their full potential. So tonight, before I wrap up this introduction, I want to tell you all, be you, be authentic, love yourself, and that will make you feel free. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. I'm standing here today with my love and strength in my heart to eliminate this event with a grace and heart full of dreams. I am Lavnia Sanjeevi, an IT professional, came from the Weaver background, and I want to use this floor to showcase my tradition, creativity, which had passion, to, which had colors, passion to my life. And I always love to use myself to empower women, to embark on an entrepreneurial journey, and be successful in their career path. I'm standing here today to overcome the fear of stage and to find myself. Thank you. Hi, this is Anushmita, the owner of Oitijjo, the tradition, and welcome to 
Oiticho Mrs. Universe 2023 Georgia. We are organizing this pageant at Cumming, Georgia. So this is a path. This is a unique path and is a gorgeous path to go to Mrs. Universe 2024. That's why we are all here. We have Lakshmi, we have Sucheta, we have Chandu. So Lakshmi is the one who partnered with me. <laughs> yeah. Partners in crime. Basically, uh, this event was for all the misses. We wanted to let everybody know if we can do it, everybody can do it. It is their time on the stage. It's a woman empowered. They empowered themselves and they are empowering other women. They want to have their time on the stage and show them what they can use this platform for today. Pageant, a lot of people have a different meaning, but pageant means these women coming forward and utilizing this platform to further their cause. May it be business, their work, their passion, or they want to go into modeling. But this is for everybody, and this is what we wanted to give them a beautiful experience today, and we want them, them to realize how important they are to this. And as we always say, nothing is impossible and opportunities everywhere. It's your time to grab it and make it happen. Okay, I will do the level, you do who can participate. So, uh, this pageant is a platform for a bigger platform from here who is going to win they are going to the mrs universe nationals and from there the winner is going to get a chance to go to mrs universe 2024 and then lakshmi can you explain who is going to come here this platform for is for everybody it is not like one person or the other person this platform is everyone this is not about size, shape, age or anything and I'm a prime example for it. Age is just a number. If they have the heart for it, they can come out on this platform and they can show themselves because this is one way of them making their voice be heard. So a lot of times people will talk to a friend, they will listen to them, but they use this platform, hundreds of them will listen to them and that's the best part that they can come join and be part of this journey and have a beautiful experience that's true and that's all about it beautiful experience this time at the pageant we gave them nine grooming sessions and they were very useful as we can see on the stage we didn't want to just do the pageant it's all about the experience they are getting from here because after today they will be defined what they are taking with them and that is our only only motto to do the pageant so chandu you want to say something about this yeah sure so one quick word they put a lot of efforts all the women you're seeing here it's not easy to start something as a woman and make it a grand success so woman empowerment rocks thank you for being a part of this and thank you for supporting us that's a lot thank you sucheta this has been a really wonderful experience, I think not just for the participants, but also for us because we got to be able to groom them and hopefully we made a small difference in their lives. So as you can see, it's a multitude of audience. It's not just Indian, American or Asian or African, it's for everybody. So we have different races coming here and supporting us today and they are standing with us and they are empowering us. They have provided us this opportunity to do the best we can and we are feeling very proud about it. And as I said, we have not just women who are supporting a pageant for misses, but we have a lot of men, my brother, everybody here who are standing with us and they are showing that they are with us. Just like as they say, behind every man there is a woman. Today I will say, behind every woman supporting is a man so this is for everybody without everybody we wouldn't be standing here today and be successful thank you
थैंक यू सो मच कंप्लीट विदाउट द स्पॉन्सर्स एंड विदाउट द पीपल बिहाइंड अस हु विल बी देयर फॉर अस एवरी मोमेंट ऑफ द डे एंड हेल्प अस टू मेक अ इवेंट सक्सेस सो दिस इज वन ऑफ आवर स्पॉन्सर्स दिस इज पृथ्वी कुंडूरी एंड आई वुड लाइक हर टू इंट्रोड्यूस हर सेल्फ फॉर अ मिनट हेलो दिस इज पृथ्वी कुंडूरी मैं फैशन डिजाइनर एंड स्टाइलिस्ट Um, I'm a passionate uh, creative artist. So, uh, Lakshmi, she always supports everyone. So she asked for uh, if you want to do, if you want to come uh, come up for any sponsorship, I'm always with her because she is a great woman empowerment uh, lady. So I definitely would love to encourage. In everyone. this world, women have to support women. and that's why i wanted to introduce prithvi she has the most beautiful designs in her jewelry and that she has put it up there your website is akshiyajewelrypalette.com thank you prithvi thank, thank you, you so much, much. for our sponsors as i said without the sponsors the program is never successful and here is mr girder kotagiri and he owns skit solutions the i've actually done a small promo for him a long time ago and he has started from scratch just like me and he is where he is very successful today the best place to go and get some id training and get some placements with your resume sometimes you feel disappointed when you have studied education is done and you don't know what to do so i would suggest a lot of people to go to skit solutions and you find a really good trainer who trains you and also prepares you for the real world and find a job for you so i would like uh, giri kodigiri to say a few words please yep. thank you lakshmi yep as she started like i mean she was the uh, one who started our skit software solutions advertising 2 years ago and her step is like a golden step and which we were here now and we wish more and more to come and achieve and uh, coming to lakshmi like uh, i know her for a long time and uh, she started this as an entrepreneurship by being a beautiful heart and by beautiful personality so i wish more successfulness for lakshmi in the future and we will always support you lakshmi thank you so be with much. you thank, <laughs> thank you, you. Thank you so much <laughs> yeah i wish you a very good luck lakshmi and uh, uh, we'll give complete support to you <laughs> definitely thank yeah you so wishing much. wish you a good luck thank you yeah. thank you thank you so and today i want to introduce another person who is my support and a very dear friend and this is neelima sen and she does mc and mentoring and i wanted to introduce her because she's the best at what she does Thank you so much Lakshmi. I am here today to uh, host and be the MC of this prestigious Mrs Universe pageant, one of a kind happening here at Golden Venue and I am so privileged to be able to introduce these beautiful contestants to all of you here. Um uh, just a little bit about me. I am actually a runner up of Mrs Bharat Georgia in 2019 and that journey made me pursue my passion to help fellow contestants as a coach and a mentor and I'm also a professional MC so very glad to be here and host this event thank you neelima being here today thank you hi everyone my name is dr florence fasson and i'm one of the judges of the miss universe ga and with me is jamila abdullah and Sarul Johnson and Sarul Johnson so I'm the founder of a pageant myself Miss Elegance Georgia and I love everything about this I see the empowerment for women and everybody is coming together for a good cause Jamie what do you think Yeah I think it's a beautiful outing it's a beautiful environment the dancers the the contestants the pageant it's so beautiful and actually depicting the culture of uh, India is yeah. just a beautiful thing I grew up watching Indian movies that up till my uh, old age I still I'm not over it and I, as you can see you know I represent them <laughs> everything in India is just beautiful yeah. and you know for the fashion um display as well it was yeah. beautiful for depicting the culture it's now very diverse in the sense that even with the sarees and the lehengas everything is now modernized in nice, a way and nice. to showcase it to the world is a beautiful thing so absolutely this is really nice <laughs> <laughs> and saru what do you think so far um i am amazed how collective and how together that i feel 
that people come from different parts of India and still be able to embrace the culture in the United States. It's actually inspiring me to embrace my culture more. I'm from Mongolia. I don't know if you know it, but um, yeah, I'm just super excited to be honored to be part of this event. And uh, these ladies are amazing and they're so creative and they're so confident. Majority of them are high level educated individuals, yeah. full time moms. It's just so much inspiration for the younger generation. I'm so happy to be here. Yes. And yes, that it is false from you. Yes. <laughs> and I actually met. I love her. She's done so much for the teenagers. She has given them confidence. She has taught them to empower themselves and empower other people. I've been to one of the parties hosted by her where she had just finished a pageant successfully and she is a woman empowered. And I'm really proud that all three women here are here today to judge the girls here and give them the platform that they need. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. As you already know, who are they now? Dr. Florence, she is really an influence. And when we talk about woman empowerment, this is what we see. She is the one who encourages them to, if I'm not wrong, right? And they are beautifully supporting us. And this is out of their community. And we are so humbled. Like they are valuing us too and ready to support us and she always invites us for her pageants and that's a, such a beautiful gesture we always get, right? And we are trying to learn from you a little bit and we are trying to do the same. So as we say, we always learn from each other and she's the one who actually taught me this. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you accepting the judging you know the offer we were really humble and look at her she is representing us <laughs> thank you so much hi my name is Sucheta Banerjee I'm one of the organizers at Mrs. Universe Georgia 2023 and one of the things that I do actually is I run the non-profit arm of Oitijo uh, and we take used Indian clothing, be that saris, kurtis, lehengas, and we create pillows and coasters, even some outfits, uh, canvases, so we make lots of different things, and we take it, and we take all of the money and give it to charity. This time, our charity is New Heights Academy, which is a school for autistic children and young adults, and we are focusing on helping the young adults, the autistic young adults, uh, get vocational training so that they can go out and they can uh, make a living for themselves and be self-reliant and independent. So if you have any used clothing or anything that you would like to donate to us, please let us know.